Later this year, you could order a Lyft and there may not be anyone driving it. I'm Bridget Carey, this is your CNET Update. Soon we may live in a world where you hail a taxi and no one is driving. General Motors and Lyft are on a mission to test self-driving taxis on public roads within the year. GM recently invested $500 million in Lyft, the ride-hailing service that competes with Uber. GM also is putting down $1 billion to buy a company that develops self-driving car technology. Reports indicate that if you live in a city that will have this self-driving test, you would be able to choose in the app if you want a human to drive you or just the car, which would be an electric Chevy Bolt. But it's not just GM that is revving up self-driving car plans. This week, Chrysler and Google announced plans for developing autonomous minivans that will be tested this year. And the Wall Street Journal reports that Google and Apple are shopping for land to test self-driving cars. You are already familiar with Google's self-driving cars, but Apple has no facility yet, and it also isn't saying a peep about it officially. But in the meantime, Apple is said to be making another update, this time to its music streaming service. Apple will be offering its monthly on-demand music service at half the price for students. The discount, first reported by TechCrunch, comes out to about $5 a month. Spotify also offers a $5 monthly subscription for students, so this would be a move by Apple to stay competitive. There's been buzz that Apple's gonna show off changes to Apple Music next month at its developers conference. And the latest report from 9to5Mac says the new interface is gonna have text and backgrounds in basic black and white with larger album art. And the mission is to make the app look and feel simpler to use. Apple Music has been around for a year, and the company said right now about 11 million people subscribe to the paid service. That's all for this Tech News Roundup. You can head to CNET.com for the latest. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.